Okay, this tutorial is about how to easily install the various add-ons to GIMP, such as brushes, uh, plugins, scripts, fonts, that sort of thing. First thing we're going to do is right-click on our desktop, make a new folder. We're going to call this folder GIMP stuff. And now we're going to go over here to my computer, right-click, pick Explore. We'll go to the C drive, program files, go down to GIMP 2.0, open up Live GIMP 2.0, right click on plugins, send to desktop, create shortcut. We'll go down to share GIMP 2.0, right click on brushes, send to desktop, create shortcut and scripts, right click, send to desktop, create shortcut. And we're going to close this window. We do not need it any longer. Now, if we go over here, sorry, this video kind of jumps around. There are my shortcuts. And I'm going to draw a box around them. And we'll just go over here and drop them into GIMP stuff. Now if I double click GIMP stuff, I've got shortcuts. Now from here, if I downloaded any of the various things I need to, like brushes or scripts, I could extract them into just this GIMP stuff folder and then presumably drag the contents and drop them into the appropriate shortcut folder and they go into their folder in the main GIMP install. Um, there's another way we can do this, however. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go start Firefox. We're going to go to DeviantArt. And we'll go to Categories resources, application resources, GIMP brushes. And there will be got this snowflake brush set. And we're going to download it. Save it to disk. And we're going to go desktop, GIMP stuff. And we're just going to download it right into the GIMP stuff folder. And we're going to go up here and go to Default. And we'll see if this thing will cooperate. Sometimes the video, for some reason, seems to interfere with downloading fonts. I'm going to download just a random font here. being slow. And it's probably well, it doesn't want to download that one for some reason or other. And now it seems to have locked out. Let's try a different. Let's just go to cartoon. And there we go. Let's try this one right here. There it goes. It's gonna let me save that one. So we're going to save our font right into GIMP stuff. And I'll close out Firefox, close out the downloads. So there's our brush set and our font. Now we're in open mode. We have the rather useless blue dialog thing. So I'm going to get out of this, go back to my GIMP stuff folder, and go into explore mode. Now in this mode, if I double click this folder, it opens up a separate window. And there's the folder that was inside that zip file. So I'm going to drag that over into GIMP stuff and drop it. And while we're at it, we'll double click this one. Now this one, apparently they don't have a subfolder. They've just got fonts. So what we'll do is we'll make a separate folder here called fonts. And then, we'll 
just take all of this and we're dragging it out of the zip folder. We're going to drop it in fonts. So now what was in here is now in there. We're going to delete this. We don't need it. And we're going to delete this because we've already extracted it. We don't need it. Okay. Now again, from here, if I wanted to open up these two folders, well, this one, I would have to install the fonts in C Windows fonts. But there's another way we can do it, and that's what I'll show you. And this one here, we could take the contents of this folder and simply drag and drop them into the brushes folder. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to point GIMP at these folders. So I'm going to go File, Preferences. I'm going to drop down my Folders menu. The first thing we'll do is we'll make a link to our Snowflake Brush folder. Let's get rid of this old one here. Alright. So I'm going to create a new link. Ordinarily this is blank. And we're going to go to the Desktop. Game Stuff. Click on the Snowflake, Snowflake Brush set. Click OK. Now, these checkboxes allow you to set whether or not you want to write to the folder that has the brushes. If you don't want, if you just want to read it, just leave it unchecked. I'm going to click OK, and you'll get this message here. We'll restart again in a second. Let's go back now and go Preferences, Folders. Drop down to fonts, and we're going to trash the old link. We'll create a new one, and desktop, GIMP stuff, fonts. Okay. And we'll just click OK, and we're going to restart GIMP. because the video is running. My computer's kind of old and slow, like me. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we'll go down here and we'll look. And there's our snowflake brushes right there. And that's because we pointed GIMP at this folder that's in our GIMP stuff folder. Now, if I do File, New, because I need to do Dialogs, Fonts, and that font was called Disco. So let's go look and see if there's a Disco font in here. And there it is right there, Disco. So, that's the end of the tutorial pretty much. I mean, you can do the same thing with scripts, the same thing with plugins. Now, with Windows, of course, you're going to need to download pre-compiled plugins. And scripts would be just basic scheme scripts. If you've done the tutorial on Git talk about how to get Python foo working, you're going to be doing some sort of variation of this to install your Python scripts.